Welcome back. It's still Metrify right here on Channels Television. Now, her wish to support 40 couples battling infertility came through with the launch of the project 4040 on the 19th of July, the day Pastor Ibidu Ajayi Godalu would have turned 40. But she sure would have looked down with a smile knowing that her loved ones made it a reality. She was celebrated at a two-day event. Check it out. She may not have lived to see her 40th birthday, but Pastor Ibidu Ajayi Igudalo's wish was to use the occasion to support 40 couples facing challenges in the area of infertility. Her foundation, Ibidu Igudalo Foundation, her husband, Pastor Itwa Igudalo, and a couple of well-meaning Nigerians have commenced plans to actualize her vision as they continue to draw inspiration from her short but impactful life. Ibidu Ajayi Igodalo was a lover of music as she had a good relationship with some of the musicians carefully selected for the global worship concert held on the 18th of July as part of activities leading up to her 40th birthday, which is the following day. This opened the night for gospel artists who were present while others performed virtually. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye hands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know you the Lord, that his God, it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The emotions that erupted on the 14th of June 2020 when the sad news of her death filtered through is still palpable and most of the performers tried their best to help uplift everyone's spirits. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening, all the way from the United States, let us have Funke Akinoko. Funke Akinoko. And then I go to Edo State. I call you the I, you know your real. Osalolet, you are the God of strength. Osaloma, you are the Osaloma, you are the God of strength. I call you the Obo Belkumi for Bakokoro. Your daddy, I've ever kept on him about the people getting so you move here. Also joining from the United States of America is renowned gospel musician Ron Kinoli and Ijoba Runkruna Lara George.
I have known the Father's care for me. He's been good. He's been good, and through it all, he's always there for me. God's been good to me. Then came the goodwill messages from the virtual guests. She was an epitome of love that our Lord Jesus Christ asked us to express to one another. She was a good Samaritan who exhibited the fruits of the Spirit to neighbors, business partners, customers, staff, family, and friends. To Lagos State as a whole, we are grateful that we had this angel come into our state, bless our people. We miss her, we love her, and we know we surely meet. When I think of people in the seven years that I became very close to her, I cannot think of anyone who walked on this planet and was an angel among us and we did not realize. Oba, 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 oba titi aye. Alagbara, oba titi aye. Ajubare o Jesu, oba toto kwega lo jokobo. Oba ni nuwa ini, oba ni nuni ni, oba tonkwe ni gani. Shout our our ever present help in time of need in our hurts and our pain. You are everything to us. Renowned saxophonist B.J. Sax and singer-artist Samuel Poso later take over proceedings. The posthumous birthday vigil soon rolled over to the D-Day and as the clock struck midnight, the 40 at 40 project was launched. We have all lost. I know Itwa, the children, the Godalo family, the Ajay family have all lost a great gem. We have all lost a gem um, in, in the passing of, of Ibi Duni. July 19 is also the birthday of her daughter, Keke, and brother-in-law, Aswe Igodalo. So they did the honors of cutting the birthday cake. So we're going to spell that name Jesus. And the first letter of that name is? J. The next letter is? E. The third letter is? S. The fourth letter? U. And the fifth letter is? S. And the name we have spelled is? Jesus! Hallelujah. We give you all the Later that evening, a special posthumous birthday service was held in her honor, put together by Trinity House Church and her company, Elizabeth R. Pastor Ibidu Igodalo channeled her pain 
due to infertility in bringing joy to homes of couples who battled the same issues. And that's one of the greatest legacies she left behind, which her loved ones are determined to continue from where she stopped. In fulfilling our founder's last wish, we are pleased to announce to you all that in line with keeping to her promise and desire to help 40 couples achieve their dream of carrying their own child, the Ibiduni Godalo Foundation Board of Trustees has further been strengthened and our website has been further improved for a better user experience. Nothing was, no challenge was too big for her. She was a goal getter. She was very industrious. She was very hardworking. She was a lot of things all rolled into one. She achieved that while she was, yes, please, a thunderous clap and a standing ovation. The wife of the governor of Edo State, Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, represents her husband at the occasion. Her life was just too beautiful. She was just too beautiful a human being. She had just so much beauty and goodness in her that God had to take her. He, won he wants her in his presence. That's the way I feel. Once again, the other celebrants are invited on stage while Mrs. Obaseki supervises the cutting of the cake. Straight. E. E. S. S. You. You. S. S. Jesus. And then, all listened with rapt attention as Pastor Igudalo gives a loving and emotional speech about his dear wife. Standing here, as most of what Ibiduni represents, Keke and Zenan, Ibidu left such a wonderful legacy. She organized the house. She organized my life. She left me. too much to bear and as they face the reality that she's no longer with them they continue to draw strength from the selfless life she lived and the legacy she left behind happy posthumous birthday mrs ibidu ajayi igodalo we end the show right here thank you so much for watching for more please go to our website channelstv.com don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and also you can reach us with a number on your screen. Thank you once again for watching. I'm Ogich Kwasi. Stay well and stay safe. <laughs>